Oh, hello. My name is Mara and welcome to Books Like Whoa. Alrighty folks, we have an unhaul today, which I have not organized in advance, so we're just gonna kind of go in random order. It's also a weird time to do a book haul unhaul because I don't actually have any place to unhaul to at the moment because we are in quarantine. I am expecting that I will, I don't know. Ugh, this brings up the whole question of like the survival of small businesses because my local beloved used bookstore that has been open as long as I have been alive and is like an institution in Tennessee is McKay's and I'm not totally sure what's going on with them right now. I'm going to just live in faith and hope that I will be able to take these books to them soon. So I don't know what's happening, but I'm still just gonna go ahead and do an unhaul because I definitely have like exceeded the number that I would normally save up to show you guys. So I'm just gonna do it and we're gonna live in faith that it will actually get unhauled soon. So without further ado, like I said, I did no organization. So we're just gonna go through this one at a time randomly. Okay, so actually I see here at the top, I've got several that I have read and have just decided to go ahead and get rid of. So, okay, let's just, Let's just get into it. So first, The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. If you saw my attempt to read this in a reading vlog I did recently, this is just big fat, not for me in terms of the writing style. I cannot deal with it. However, I know a lot of people love this. I'm sure that people would be glad to have a nice hardback copy back in circulation. And uh, yeah, I think I might check out the adaptation, but the book was just not for me. So that one is gonna go. I also, um, I see a couple here that might make people sad, but you know, my collection, my rules. I have decided that I'm no longer gonna collect the full Wayward Children series because there are just certain ones in the series that I like way better than others. And the common denominator there is is Jack in this book. So for the two books that Jack is not in, which is Beneath the Sugar, ugh, Beneath the Sugar Sky and In an Absent Dream, I just didn't like, these didn't stick with me. These are not my favorites in the series. I see no circumstance under which I would reread them. And therefore I think I've just landed on the idea that I'm only going to physically collect the ones where I ha like I could see myself rereading them and neither of these qualify for me for that, but I'm sure people will be psyched to see these at the used bookstore because it is a very popular series. I've also decided I'm not going to be collecting the entire Johannes Cabal series. So this was one that was fine, but not that great for me. So I just don't see a reason to hold on to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unhaul this one. And if, as I continue to read in the series, there's other ones I'm only so-so on, I will also unhaul those. And then, so I kind of had a little bit of a dilemma about if I was actually gonna unhaul this one. And I've landed on, yes, I am because I'm just not, I just don't, I don't actually consider this canon. So I don't feel like I need to hold on to it as a part of the core series. And that is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I know it says JK Rowling and she very well may have majorly participated in writing this. I don't care. I hated this. I hate this so much. <laughs> and I don't consider it canon and I don't wanna hold on to it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Man, actually, as I was digging through, I realized that most of these are ones that I've read and I'm just getting rid of. So uh, I will just mention, I'm also getting rid of Johannes Cabal the Detective because I liked but didn't love this one. So really the only one that I know I'm holding on to is my very favorite, which is Johannes Cabal the Detective, uh, which is yeah, just fantastic. I love it. It's one of my all time favorite books, but the other books in this, in this series so far have only been so-so. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Let's see here, two books, actually three books here that I got as gifts and have read some or all of and just don't need to hold on to. Two are religious. So I got The Red Sea Rules by Robert Morgan. I got this from a church I used to belong to and I don't remember why, never gonna reread this. So I just figured it's time to let it go. And then um, the Singer Trilogy, which is the mystic retelling in the New Testament. This was also a gift and I've read parts of this, but I don't necessarily find myself reaching for this as a reference very often. And uh, I do think it's a really cool thing, which is basically it's a, a retelling in poem form of the New Testament. So yeah, I just decided I'm not really referencing this. So I should put it back out into circulation because I think somebody else might enjoy it. And then a book that I got from my work was Work Without Walls, Mara Neville Thomas. And basically this is making an argument for teleworking. So we read this in a work book club, which is actually so funny these days because now all of us are working remotely. And uh, it was an interesting discussion because a lot of people basically were kind of skeptical about that idea and now we're all forced to do it. 
<laughs> Joke's on them, right? Okay, and then a few, uh, three here that I liked fine when I read. Actually, one, two of these I really liked. Um, one of them I only liked fine, but I just think that they'd be better served back out in circulation rather than in my collection because I just don't think I'm going to reread them. So first is The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye. Uh, I really enjoyed this. I also enjoyed the sequel, which is uh, Girl Gone Viral, which came out in April. So I really like this book, but I don't think I'm going to reread it. And yeah, I just think people should enjoy this. So I'm going to put it back into circulation. Similarly for Persepolis, this is a classic of kind of graphic novel autobiography. And I also know it's something that schools use quite a bit. So I thought that if I don't really see myself rereading it, it probably would be good to, you know, put a copy back out into circulation. And then uh, Becoming Wise, An Inquiry into the Mystery and Art of Living by Krista Tippett. I liked but didn't love, and I just realized this was also a gift, so I should have put it in that section. It was fine, but I'm not going to reread it, and I know she is a popular figure, so perhaps somebody else would enjoy it in their collection more than mine. And then I've got four here that I didn't like so much, and that is why I'm unhauling them, because I'm not as into them. First is The Diving Bells by Lucy Wood, which I have had for nigh on 12 years. I have moved so many times, and I'm just so annoyed that I didn't end up liking it after the number of times I saved it from an unhaul, because I thought I was going to like it, and then I didn't. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. This is a short story collection, and I'm bitter boots about it. Uh, I'm going to put The Tenth Girl, this ARC copy, into the free bin at McKay's. And yeah, this is a book that was not for me. I did not enjoy this book. But other people really did. I think this was sort of you love it or you don't kind of thing. I did not, but other people did. And so, yeah, I think I mentioned before, the McKay my McKay's in Nashville, the one that I now have access to, I feel like their YA section is a little weak sauce. So I'm always happy to put some better YA in there or at least different YA. And on a similar note, I guess, Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. This is just real, this is real average to me. I really liked all of the Korean cultural elements of this, but the actual story and characters didn't really work for me, which was really disappointing. Um, and I think, I think the writing is pretty okay. Mostly this made me kind of want to read a better YA set in Korea. So yeah, but anyway, something else for their YA section. And then a mystery that I just personally didn't like. It's a retelling of And Then There Were None, which is They All Fall Down by Rachel Housel Hall. Mm, just not, not, it didn't really come together, I don't think. I think the same characters in a different plot line could have been a lot better, as it was took way too long for there to be murder because it's a mystery. People should start dying pretty quickly. And uh, it just was not my personal favorite. So a lot of these, I, in going through this, I'm like, man, a lot of these I have read. So that makes me feel good. That I read them and I'm passing them on. But I did call a few things out that I have not yet read. And then I have one where I just changed the format of my ownership. So we will do those next. Okay, in terms of just like a format change, I went ahead and picked up Wild Embrace by Nalini Singh as an ebook. So I'm gonna unhaul this paperback edition. Uh, I have, I, when I can, I collect Nalini Singh's side changeling things in hardback. This was the only one I had in paperback. It didn't really match. And um, for short story collection like this, yeah, I think I just basically would rather have it as an ebook. So I now do. And so now I can go ahead and get rid of the physical copy. And then when I was doing a reshelf recently, I, there was a few um, religious or philosoph philosophy books that I just realized I'm never gonna read. Some of these were gifts. Some of these were things I picked up for things in grad school and just never got around to. Uh, so in terms of two that were gifts that I'm just never gonna read and I feel bad that I'm never gonna read them, but I appreciate the thought of the gift. And I kept the note that was in both of these. So that's what's really important. So first, Love Not the World by Watchman Nee. I have no interest in reading this and I have saved the note that came with it. So that's what's important. And then The Blue Book, A Devotional Guide for Every Season of Your Life by Jim Branch. I just never do devotions anymore. It's not really my thing anymore. So I just think it could have a better life somewhere else. And then three that I got in grad school that I meant to read for different papers and just never got around to. And I just acknowledge to myself, I'm never going to at this point. Um, first is reading the Old Testament with the ancient church, exploring the formation of early Christian thought. I picked this up for a history paper I was writing. I'm just, I'm not gonna read this now. The Gospel in a Pluralistic Society by Leslie Newbigin. Leslie Newbigin has some very interesting forward thinking ideas about the like missionary work in the context of Christianity in the 20th and 21st century, but I'm just, I'm never 
going to write the paper that this was for, so I don't need to read it. And beginning with the word, Modern Literature and the Question of Belief Roger by Roger Lundeen. I took a course from Roger Lundeen, who has sadly since passed away. It was one of my favorite classes I ever took. Basically, it was a, a literature class talking about the role of doubt in modern literature as it relates to Christian thought. And it was super fascinating. I very much enjoyed it. And so I <clears throat> had read one book from him and this was a different one with a similar, like the question of belief, a similar kind of angle to it. And I just am never, I don't think I'm ever actually gonna get around to reading this, even though I really enjoyed the first book I read from him and I very much enjoyed that class. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say goodbye to this. So those were all from doing a reshelf. And then finally, I have one last unhaul. And I'm unhauling this because during the live stream, for the Get Shit Done Readathon that I co-hosted with a few other people. All of them were talking about this book and about how disappointing it was, and they were explaining why they were disappointed in it, and I was like, oh, I don't think I'm actually gonna end up, end up enjoying that, so I should also unhaul that. And that is The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. I just don't think that I would like this based on that conversation. And I have a different Kirsten White that I wanna try, which is The Dark, the Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. I have that as an ebook, so that will be my first outing with Kirsten White which I think will be more likely to be successful if I start there. So yeah, that's about, I think, 30-ish books. Like I said, I'm not, I mean, I wanted to do this because my, I had two full unhaul bags. And so that usually means it's time to film an unhaul. I just don't know where I'm going to unhaul to at this point. But uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if there's any things that you have been trying to get rid of from your uh, book collection, things that you've just made your peace with that you're either never going to read or you just don't need to hold on to anymore. Uh, let me know that in the comments down below. And yeah, I think that that will do it for now. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social meds if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below, and I think that will do it. I hope you're having an absolutely lovely day today, and I will just talk to you soon. Bye!